90% of the water we provide to the citizens comes from a surface water source, either the San Jacinto River through Lake Houston or the Trinity River through Lake Livingston. The other 10% comes from groundwater wells in either the uh, Evangeline uh, Aquifer or the Jasper Aquifer. The City of Houston actually manages 10 separate public water systems. In our main system, which includes the majority of the citizens, it is mostly surface water. Our groundwater is used only during peak times. Um, the other nine systems are isolated, such as the Kingwood area, we don't have surface water there, or Willow Chase, where groundwater is their only source of water. No water directly from the well is given to any particular citizen. The wells go into ground storage tanks where we check for the chlorine residuals, we take samples and pneumonia, and then we adjust the chemicals, and then it is sent out. We can't just send out raw water to the customers. The compliance samples are actually done on water delivered to our customers. It's considered finished water. And the difference is pretty much the difference between taking a sip of water in Lake Houston and taking a sip out of your tap. Um, the water before it's treated, before it's filtered, it has many constituents in it that later on are removed through our process of treatment and purification. As a uh, consumer myself and my children drink this water, but the locations at which we collect the samples are approved by the TCEQ. The compliance samples are collected by a TCEQ selected third party and sent to a completely independent lab. So the water is safe to drink and the samples that are taken to ensure that safety are completely separate from what the city staff does. So there's no way for us to interfere or reinterpret the data. It is good, good water and it is safe to drink. The wells that have been publicly, you know, publicized as having areas of concern are only used in emergency situations. I don't want anyone to be confused. Those raw water samples are not indicative of the finished water that's supplied to your house. The wells are one of several at those locations that could be turned on. It's not saying that it's absolute the wells will be turned on. The water does blend with the surface water, which is a non-detect, and we have not had any compliance samples showing a problem in those areas where the wells are of concern. The ultimate goal to comply with the subsidence requirements is to pump no more than 30% groundwater for the entire system that we operate. Again, that would primarily be comprised of our outlying areas that are isolated from our main system. Again, like the Kingwoods, the Willow Chase, the very outliers of our system that uh, would take an extraordinary amount of capital to install transmission lines to get surface water to those areas. So in the main system, you would be exclusively surface water. The City of Houston received a superior rating for our public water system in 1995 and have maintained it every year since then, which means we cannot have had a violation of any of the primary or secondary treatment standards in, that EPA or TCQ set forward.